This first project that was introduced or proposed is, has been proposed by LS Power. Uh, they're a company based out of New York City. They've proposed putting 400 wind turbines up to 740 feet tall, which is twice as tall as anything that's currently in Idaho, uh, on our public lands, about 300 square miles of public land just south and east of here. So basically this is a plan for one of the biggest wind farms, if not the biggest wind farm in the world. But the biggest thing is that it's not on a private piece of property, it's on public land. There's a lot of people who have solar panels, whatever, but they just build them here on their private property. And when that happens, they're in control of how that project moves forward. Well, you can sit here right now, you can probably count six or 700 antelope circling us. I mean, Idaho Fish and Game has all the data of collar and big game from this from Craters of the Moon down through this uh, sage corridor, and it's one of the biggest wintering corridors for big game in the state of Idaho. And I think the biggest problem is gonna be during the construction phase if this does go through. Big game animals are a, are a big fan of being left alone. Um, they're just gonna go to the areas of lower population. So whether that's here on this haystack, whether that's in your backyard, whether that's on your freeway or your local highway, how are the farmers and the wildlife gonna coexist? I mean, they gotta go somewhere. AUM is an animal unit month. It's enough feed to feed one animal for a month. Lava Ridge is gonna affect 62,000 AUMs on, I believe it's seven or nine different allotments. 42 different ranching operations. Uh, just on our allotment alone, it's gonna affect eight different operations. There's 40 plus families that have uh, AUMs on that. And so those are, you know, that's 40 local families that depend on that as, a, as part of their livelihood. Most of this project will be sited on an area that we've been running cattle on uh, as public land grazing permittees uh, since the 1930s. Um, so it's really gonna impact our operation over the construction and operation and uh, rehab phases and decommissioning. It's about, a, they're claiming about a 34 year project. The construction is a big concern. There's gonna be 525 days of blasting twice a day uh, over our aquifer. I'm not sure what the effects of that'll be. We have people relate a story about their construction of a small hydro plant and uh, the blasting caused them to have to re-drill uh, every, every well within a mile and a half of the project because of, of contamination. Uh, I don't know if that's going to happen here, but it's a concern. I am the uh, owner of Red Baron Ag Service as well as Ag Air Inc. Our job is not easy to start with and to, to you know, to put this type of hazard out there for us is very difficult for us to deal with. And our other pilots will talk more about that. I'm going to talk about the FAA uh, has turned down this, this um, proposal twice. So if the FAA is concerned about it, then, then you know I have to be concerned about it. I mean, it's my life that we're dealing with. I'm concerned about the, um, the vortices of air that will come off of these, the big propellers that um, they're, they're basically like a like a wing and a wing develops vortices which is an air disturbance it's a real safety concern for us and and you cannot see them safety quality you know and efficiency and those three factors have to work together to get a good outcome for everybody one of the growers biggest issues is keeping their keeping their crops wet and, and not getting behind on water so they call us because they don't have the they don't have the time to dry down their crop and bring a ground driven device through that crop. The new project proposal uh, caused a lot of safety concerns for me. 
uh, because as I fly in the field, I'm looking for any obstacles that are down at the level that I'm spraying at, and I check those obstacles out before I enter the field. So that's where my concentration is, is when I'm in the field. But these uh, current windmills that, that they're proposing uh, are outside of the field that I'm spraying in, but they're so tall that as I pull up out of the field to start my turn, what used to be free, safe airspace where I could make my turn and concentrate on the obstacles that I'm gonna be encountering as I come back around and get into the field, now suddenly I'm coming eye to eye with windmills that are at the elevation that I normally turn at. And so I have a whole new set of obstacles now that I'm gonna to have to um, uh, be aware of and concentrate on avoid uh, while I'm trying to do my job. And so just anytime you have an obstacle that distracts you or changes your concentration or removes your concentration on the obstacles that are down in the field where you're down in the danger zone, um, that itself causes a safety concern. So if you're worrying about a windmill that you're trying to fly around, you're trying to drop back into the field, uh, you might be worried about the windmill and forget all about the power lines just on the other side of the road. So it just creates a whole new level of hazard uh, and a safety concern for me as I'm going about trying to do my job.